Recently, the aircraft manufacturing group Airbus has officially announced the delay of the project to develop the new generation cargo aircraft A350F. This announcement has caused a lot of surprise and attention in the aviation industry. The freighter is considered one of Airbus's key projects to meet the increasing demand for air cargo transportation worldwide. So what is the cause of this delay? Will this delay affect Airbus's development plan and strategy in the cargo aircraft market? Let's find out in today's episode. Airbus is facing a major challenge in increasing production of its A350 family of aircraft and has delayed deliveries of its freighter version by a year due to supply chain difficulties, industry sources told Reuters. Insiders said the delay is likely to be officially announced by Airbus on Thursday when it releases its annual financial results. The delay in A350 freighter deliveries is seen as a significant setback to Airbus plans to expand its product portfolio and strengthen its position in the air transport market. The freighter is one of the key projects that Airbus has high expectations for. In order to meet the growing demand for new generation freighters that are high performance, fuel efficient, and environmentally friendly. The aircraft is designed to compete directly with the Boeing. 777X freighter. Boeing's modern freighter that is dominating the market. With its advanced technology, lightweight composite materials, and optimized cargo capacity, the freighter is expected to be an attractive option for air cargo carriers looking for cost-saving solutions and improved operational efficiency. However, delays in production and delivery could reduce Airbus's competitive advantage, especially as Boeing is pushing orders for the 777-8F. This could also affect customer confidence, including the world's leading carriers that have ordered the A350 freighter in the hope of early entry into service. If the supply and production chain issues are not resolved soon, Airbus risks losing an important opportunity in the race to gain market share in the rapidly growing air cargo sector. This will not only affect the A350 freighter, but will also put pressure on the production of the entire A350 family in the coming months. Airbus has not yet officially commented on the new delivery schedule for the A350 freighter. Previously, the aircraft was expected to enter service in 2026, but given the current challenges, the launch date could be pushed back significantly. The freighter program delay comes as Airbus is also grappling with challenges in ramping up production of its A350 passenger aircraft. One of the main causes of the delay is the prolonged delay in receiving fuselage components from supplier Spirit Aerosystems, which has directly affected the progress of assembly and delivery of the aircraft. Airbus is currently working to increase A350 production to a higher level than the current rate of around six aircraft per month. However, despite significant supply chain hurdles, the company has maintained its ambitious production target of 12 A350s per month by 2028, including both passenger and freighter versions. This shows that Airbus remains steadfast in its long-term strategy, despite the immediate difficulties. When asked about the production issues, an Airbus spokesperson declined to comment directly. However, the company reiterated its position in its nine-month financial report last October stressing that Airbus remains committed to its 2028 target and is actively managing specific supply chain challenges to ensure progress into 2025. Despite the volatility and trade tensions in the aviation market, demand for cargo aircraft remains strong. Major cargo carriers in the Gulf and other regions around the world are looking to modernize their fleets to improve operational efficiency and optimize fuel costs. In particular, Delays in certifying passenger to freighter conversion programs have created a gap in the market, forcing carriers to look to specialized aircraft like the freighter to meet growing demand. This presents a huge opportunity for Airbus if it can quickly resolve supply chain issues and get the freighter into service on time. The potential delay to the A350F program is the latest example of the disruptions to global supply chains that have continued since the COVID-19 pandemic. The difficulty in securing parts supplies is affecting not only Airbus but the entire aviation industry as manufacturers grapple with material shortages, production delays, and financial instability at key suppliers. One of the biggest bottlenecks in Airbus's supply chain today comes from Spirit Aerosystems, one of its key suppliers. Spirit is at the center of a rare and complex situation where both aerospace giants Airbus and arch-rival Boeing are forced to intervene to ensure the supplier's survival. Spirit Aerosystems has publicly expressed concerns about the sustainability of its business 
if it fails to secure long-term agreements with the two major aircraft manufacturers. To address this, Boeing decided last year to acquire its former subsidiary Spirit Aerosystems in a major deal. However, the deal also included Airbus taking over Spirit's loss-making operations in Europe, including a key factory in North Carolina that produces the center fuselage section for the A350. While it was expected to give Airbus greater control over its supply chain, the transition and restructuring process has posed significant challenges. According to a Reuters report in October, the jet fuselage sections produced at Spirit's Kinston plant are behind schedule, raising concerns about Airbus's ability to ramp up production in 2025. Industry sources have even suggested that a significant increase in A350 production by 2025 and possibly part of 2026 is unlikely, given the supply chain bottlenecks that have yet to be fully resolved. Looking back at Airbus's production adjustments at the height of the pandemic, the company was forced to cut the number of A350s it produced per month to just five to cope with plummeting demand from airlines. Airbus restored production to six per month by 2023, but has struggled to maintain an increased production since then. If it fails to resolve the supply issues, Airbus risks a prolonged slowdown that could impact its expansion plans in the wide-body segment, including passenger and freighter versions of the A350. So, what's special about this cargo plane? But before we find out, if you are new or haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then show us your support by clicking the subscribe button so you will be the first to see our upcoming videos. Now let's continue. Airbus claims that the A350F is the most environmentally friendly freighter on the market today. Thanks to its advanced design and the use of new materials to optimize operational performance. More than 70% of the A350F airframe is made from modern materials such as carbon fiber composites, titanium, and advanced aluminum alloys, which significantly reduces the overall weight. As a result, the freighter has a takeoff weight that is up to 30 tons lighter than previous generation freighters, providing a major advantage in fuel efficiency and operating costs. According to Airbus, the A350F consumes around 40% less fuel than the Boeing 747-400 freighter, a large freighter that has been on the market for a long time. Compared to the Boeing 777-F, one of its direct competitors in the long-range freighter segment, the A350F still consumes around 20% less fuel. These improvements not only help airlines save significantly on fuel costs, one of the industry's largest expenses, but also deliver significant benefits in terms of reducing emissions. With the global aviation industry under increasing pressure from policymakers, environmental groups, and the public to reduce carbon emissions, the A350F's fuel efficiency could provide a key advantage for Airbus. With increasingly stringent regulations on CO2 emissions and the introduction of carbon taxes on aviation in many countries, Cargo carriers are being forced to look for more sustainable ways to operate. The shift to greener aviation technology is evident in the industry's active discussions on the development of sustainable aviation fuels, such as SAF, as well as research into new technologies such as hydrogen-powered aircraft or innovative aerodynamic designs. Airbus has also announced long-term initiatives to develop a zero-emission commercial aircraft by 2035, and the fuel-efficient A350F could be an important stepping stone in this strategy. If Airbus can stay on track with the development and delivery of the freighter as planned, it will have the opportunity to position the aircraft as an attractive option for cargo carriers looking for cost savings and a reduced environmental footprint. The aviation industry is currently witnessing a clear shift as the demand for air cargo transport is increasing, driving the strong growth of the cargo aircraft segment. This stems from various economic and geopolitical factors, forcing airlines and aircraft manufacturers to quickly adjust their strategies to meet the new market realities. According to Boeing's latest commercial market outlook, over the next 20 years, the air cargo industry is forecast to grow at a faster rate than the passenger segment. This trend reflects a change in the global supply chain, as businesses increasingly rely on the speed and flexibility of air transport to ensure goods reach customers quickly. One of the main reasons driving this demand is the prolonged disruptions in the global supply chain since the COVID-19 pandemic. Although many industries have gradually recovered, shortages of components, raw materials, and critical components continue, forcing many businesses to prioritize air freight to ensure production does not stagnate. In particular, 
Important industries such as technology, healthcare, and automotive components manufacturing still rely on air freight to maintain timely supplies. In addition, geopolitical factors are also significantly affecting global air freight capacity. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has severely disrupted the aviation industry, not only due to sanctions, but also due to a significant reduction in the number of cargo aircraft from Russian airlines. Russia used to be one of the countries operating the largest cargo fleets in the world, with many specialized aircraft such as Antonov and Ilyushin playing an important role in international air transport. However, sanctions have almost eliminated this fleet from the global air transport system. Furthermore, many international flights have had to be rerouted or canceled due to the inability to fly over Russian airspace, significantly reducing air transport capacity and pushing up operating costs. In addition, another important driver of air transport demand is the boom in global e-commerce. In recent years, the trend of online shopping has grown at an incredible pace, especially after the pandemic. Large e-commerce companies such as Amazon, Alibaba, and many other platforms are stepping up investment in air logistics to ensure the fastest possible delivery speed. This has not only increased the demand for specialized cargo aircraft, but also prompted many airlines to operate additional routes for cargo transport in order to take advantage of growth opportunities in this potential market. Combining all the above factors, it can be seen that the air cargo industry is entering a period of strong development with increasing demand from many different sectors. This is a great opportunity for aircraft manufacturers such as Airbus and Boeing to expand their product portfolio especially with new generation cargo aircraft models that are highly fuel efficient and have optimal transport capabilities.